many things in your business way too complicated. I often think that the easiest route to success is the simplest one. And I also see inside of a lot of people's businesses and when they're finding things difficult, it's often because they've made things way too complicated. Now, anyone who works with me will know that I regularly do a full um, circle moment on a lot of our projects and say, wow, I made that a lot really complicated um, as I take a step back as we get to the end of it and we get clarity. And I think that that is, um, that is why I wanted to share this lesson with you. Um, I've got plans and diagrams and lots of different things that we're working on at the moment. And I used to have this really well, complicated process of this in the sense that I would often say to the team, right, this is what we're working on. This is what we're delivering. Um, this is what we're selling. We'd be doing different things and we'd be sort of trying to spin these three different concepts. So I'd have to be like in the business selling something, um, but then in the background working on something else, but then delivering something that we previously sold, if it was a course or a program, something like that. And it's hard. It's hard then when you're doing something like that to what do you market? What do you sell? Um, and I know that people um, have differing views on whether you can sell two things in one go. You can definitely sell two things at one time. We sell a whole template shop with them templates constantly. Um, so you can definitely sell multiple things. Your clients are sophisticated. They'll understand. Think about them, what you do on the day to day. You can go and pick up a coffee. You can purchase a gym membership. You can get something for the weekends, some gifts for people. We're regularly purchasing different things. So let's treat our clients and customers um, with the respect that they, they, they can hold that information. But I think what can cause confusion is if you're selling similar things in one go. It's really easy for me to say, we're selling our course and membership terms or we're selling our coaching contract because people can see the difference with those products and they know which one they need to get. And I think that often if you can simplify things down, you can get much better results. We've got quite a few exciting things happening at the moment. One at the start of November, um, we were working through um, what we needed to do and what we were going to be giving and I was like let's give more I definitely always try and give 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 to people but that in itself can be detrimental to your launch and to your business um, and you may not realize it you may think yeah I need lots of bonuses I can tell you that in my experience of running a lot of launches now when we have too many bonuses especially if they're complicated bonuses we don't convert as well as if we then when we have less bonuses. So people might actually be having um, a less impressive deal, let's say, but they go for that because the more impressive deal is complicated. So people understand 20% off or £200 off, but if you're saying, and you also get tickets to this session or you can join me for a one-to-one -one which will take place between these dates and these times subject to availability but we're going to see how many people come into the session first then we're going to decide on the date and it's just like wow I don't know if I can do that I don't know about those dates and times and like I might be able to and then people are like well what if I can't come so we've had before people saying like well what what are the dates I need to know what the, what the call times are going to be and I'm going to decide based on when the call times are going to be and they're not joining because they don't know when the call times are. So sometimes you just have to set set the call times or, or say something, but don't put that as part of a bonus. Don't put a VIP day as part of a bonus necessarily because then if people can't come to that, they're like, oh, well, I'm not going to buy. And it detracts from, from that. It may be if you're wanting to add something like that in, you put it in as a later bonus and say everyone who's already purchased will get this and then you'll also get this. So that can often work well when you're selling is to stack the bonuses as you go. So it may be instead of explaining all the different types of payment plan, you might be able to want to say you can pay in full or pay in three parts because it's then nice and simple on your checkout. Then as your promotion period goes, you then might say, I'm going to add in another payment plan so you can pay in 10 parts or something like that. So that it doesn't overflow things and I say make things complicated because if people are there then thinking right shall I pay in full or shall I pay in three that's just one decision they've got to make but if you're giving them more decisions it gives them it makes them people a lot spend a lot more time and sure about what they want to do and sometimes you just need that simplicity you just need to talk about one thing there's so many things that I could talk to you about on the podcast 
um, podcast, we're not doing a podcast, <laughs> we're doing a YouTube. Um, so many things I could talk to you about on here. Um, but talking about you about one subject every week um, is something that I'm loving doing, by the way. Are you loving these videos? I hope so. If you're watching this, let me know. Or even if you don't want to let me know, just give me a little um, thumbs up or a little... I don't even know what you do on YouTube. That's how much I, uh, <laughs> I, I do know. Give me a thumbs up. Give us a like. Um, it would be great if you shared any of our content. Perhaps not this one because I'm fluffing it up. But do you know what? I'm not going to re-record it. And this is my invitation to you to not have to do everything perfectly as well, because otherwise we both lose that five minutes that I've just had of my life where I've been chatting to you, um, trying to get it right. And you could just say edit it. We've talked before, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I would love to get um, somebody to edit these videos. We did have that before, she was fantastic. But we're, we've simplified and streamlined our business. Um, and we don't have budget for that at the moment. And that's quite simply where we are with things. And I think that that's okay to say that, you know? I think it's okay to say, look, we're doing really well, we're, we're saving, do you know what, we're, I'm so excited, I think by the time I film the next video I'm going to be able to tell you what we're spending lots of our money on, um, but I'm going to wrap it up now, um, I'm excited for you to watch this, I'm excited to share what's coming up next, um, and I'll talk to you again soon, take care, bye.